Today I will show you how to make this viral pixel sorter transition. Yo, it's Povikas here. And real quick guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Povikas and I've been a video editor for over seven years now. And I also run an absolutely insane video editing website called povikas.com where I have the best video editing presets for video editors just like yourself. So if you want absolutely crazy video editing effects that you can literally just take and drag and drop into your After Effects timeline in one click, then I would 100% recommend to go and check them out and they will be linked in the description. But anyways, uh, let's begin. All right guys, so here I have just some random clips from one and only's music video called Stardust. It will be linked in the description if you want to use it. You can use anything you want. And what we can do is press Ctrl Y to make a new idea adjustment layer on which we will have the transition on. So let's just transition from this car to one and only right here. So we're going to be using four frames of the adjustment layer. So I can press Control shift D and delete this adjustment layer. And I'll go one, two, three, four frames forward, press Control shift D and delete. And here we have four frames like this. We can actually mark this spot as the transition point if you want to make it clear for yourself. And here the first effect we can add is going to be minimax it's not really that needed if you don't want it but i love what it does and here we can make the radius to 70 but you might be thinking okay what well yes this might not be the best so we have to go to direction and make it just horizontal so this pretty much just does like a horizontal flip that we will do also with the pixel sorter effect and here we can keyframe the radius at 70 in the middle right here and we can also add s pixel sort now for s pixel sort you do need a sapphire plugin so i'm very sorry if you don't have it uh you can also use ae pixel sorter it's another plugin uh use whatever you have and i'm going to make the threshold here pretty low at the middle as as you see right here is the middle i'm gonna make it to 0.05 the threshold which is gonna be a huge pixel sort and i'm going to keyframe the threshold now if you don't like this direction of the pixel sort you can make the sort angle to let's say 90 but let's just not do it right here. Let's just do it at zero. And here, let's make that randomly restart resort to 110. I'll keyframe it here. And let's just make the soften threshold mask. This is a little cheat I like to do to zero. And you could actually just have it like this, but it's going to look kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. You don't want it to just keep it like that. You want to like keyframe it. You want to do way more crazy things here. So we can also add a deep glow or deep glow too. If you don't have this plugin, don't worry. You can skip like a couple of seconds forward and I'm going to make the exposure here to 0.5 and I'll keep him the exposure. I just want to add a little bit of a glow. And the last effect I'll add is as hotspots, which is definitely very optional, by the way. And I'm going to make the threshold something like 0.25 so we can still see the deep glow. And I'll keep him the threshold. I think that looks amazing, right? Like, I don't know. I think that's really cool. But still, there's like barely anything keyframed. It just looks kind of bland. It just looks really not that good, you know? So that's why we need to press U. And here we go. We see all of the keyframes that we made right here. And now we need to go to the starting frame. And at the starting frame, well, we're going to make the minimax radius to zero because it started right here. We're going to make the threshold a little bit more. So like 0.18 of the pixel sort, of course. Uh, I'm going to make the randomly start uh, whatever. I don't remember what that was to zero and the deep code two to zero. Although that does look pretty nice. And the S hotspots threshold to zero. So pretty much everything was just kind of nulled down. Now instantly, this will look way better. As you can see right here, that's just way better. But we can keep going. So we can go to the last keyframe that we have. And here, I'm actually going to make it to zero as well. So let's make this zero. I'm going to make the threshold to one. Randomly start whatever that is. Sort to zero and now I'm gonna go one frame before and here I'm gonna make the threshold a bit lower because this is a bit high to 0.09 and also at this frame I like to mess around a little bit I like to make the pixel sort actually to minus so I'm gonna make it to minus 0 what 0 point let's say 285 I don't know just type something very random like as minus that looks really really nice I, I don't know at least in my opinion and I'm gonna make the randomly whatever that is you know to zero and that looks really really cool and now let's go back to the second frame right here we didn't do anything here at the moment so we should make the threshold to something like 0.02 and that has hotspots threshold i'll make it higher to 0.41 and here we will pretty much have an incredible effect just amazing 
I mean, I don't know what you guys think about it. It just looks very, very cool. It's just one of the variations. Other variation could be you could have just not changed the uh, S pixel sort here. You could have had it as like, let's say 0.11. Maybe that that actually might even look cooler. So you can just keep it like that. That looks really, really cool as that. Uh, another thing is you didn't even need to do the S hotspots. You could have just not used it. Sometimes it actually looks even better without S hotspots. And here we can call it the pixel sorter and i don't know about you but i want to make this look way cooler so after the s pixel sort happens we can press ctrl y to make a new adjustment layer and here i'm gonna go to animation presets user presets and i'm going to be using my impact presets pack which is an absolutely beautiful pack to add crazy energy after the pixel sorter transition because as you can see it just kind of feels like, well, you want something more after the pixel sort transition. So here I love to just drag and drop extreme ripple on the adjustment layer and it's gonna look crazy. So this is how it looks. It instantly gives that energy that you would just like to have after a transition happens. Just make sure for impact presets to have the Sapphire plugin. Oh yeah, and here I can show you more examples. So I'm going to press Control D on the pixel sorter layer to duplicate it and I'm gonna drag it on top of right here. Yeah, this is a really Really cool spot to also add a pixel sort transition as you can see that looks amazing but here we also might want something as an impact so we can press ctrl y and i love that frame glitch chaos and absolutely chaotic effect just a really nice like almost like a shake chaos i, I don't know what to like even call it as you can see that looks really, really cool. And now we can also press Ctrl D on the pixel sorter layer, bring it right here. And I can show you different variations here. So here, I'm actually going to turn off Minimax. Sometimes you don't want Minimax. And what you can actually do with S pixel sorter is you can press U, of course, to see our keyframes. And let's drag this a bit further to the start. And here we can make the threshold of S pixel sort to like 0.4 and we will just have it go in slowly 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 and then transition like that but here you can also press ctrl y and you can add a, a crazy preset that i made which is warp transition and after we added it it will look like this which i don't know i think is absolutely incredible and we've pretty much just made a crazy sequence in a couple of minutes and uh, i mean the hardest part was adding the pixel sorter and the other effects all you have to do is just drag and drop you'll have a bunch of them and also guys as a thank you for watching these tutorials and just a, as a bonus gift you can use code povicas to save five dollars off on the impact presets pack to treat yourself and have insane impacts in one click but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya